Hi all, it's Nicole Aleph from Arpro and in this tutorial we will show you another part of our GDL Bible. It's part 3 and we will discuss how the scripts are constructed and some basic rules when writing your scripts. Let's open the GDL object. As I explained in the previous video, part 2, uh, there are several scripts, master, 2D, 3D scripts, but uh, we will now discuss the general construction of each one. Let's uh, view our main script, the 3D script. It is used to create the object in volume or in the 3D environment. As you can see, we have uh, many uh, things written. It's uh, quite a long code especially for a beginner, but uh, I will explain the basics. Don't focus on the code just for now, on the specifics. Let's uh, see the general stuff. First, uh, whenever you write something with uh, exclamation mark in front of it, it's a comment. Therefore, the program will not uh, include it in uh, its execution. Therefore, I can write anything, for instance, it's a sunny day and uh, it doesn't matter uh, whenever you um, um, click on check script it will search for errors in this script if it's written the GDL script is okay it's uh, actually a paradise for every architect programmer uh, whenever you see this message and uh, it shows me that uh, I've made no mistakes. However, if I remove the exclamation mark, therefore it's not a comment, then it will try to execute it. And uh, since it's not a command, it will show me that it's a mistake. And it uh, marks where the mistake is. It's quite easy to correct it. Let's write exclamation mark. For instance, in the first mark, I've written NL, my initials, and uh, the year in which I've uh, made this part. Uh, secondly, we have uh, here the main um, part of our program, which is uh, which sends us to subroutines. I highly recommend to use subroutines when programming because therefore you can divide the bigger task, which is the whole program, into smaller pieces, which is each subroutine. And uh, you can turn off and on certain subroutines by, of course, writing exclamation mark uh, in front of them. Uh, therefore, go sub means go to subroutine number 11. And uh, it will search for the number 11 subroutine after the end sign. Uh, the code between the end and the first uh, row marks the main executive uh, part of your GDL program and whatever is written after the end are usually subroutines and uh, you will list them I advise you to use uh, numbers you can also use strings but uh, you have to type them in uh, apostrophes if you use strings uh, therefore use uh, numbers and uh, use uh, uh, for similar tasks use uh, uh, adjacent numbers like 1, 2, 3 and then for the next task use uh, 11, 12, 13 and uh, you can see uh, in this case I built a fireplace it's a very simple one but uh, I've grouped my subroutines in 11, uh, 13 and 14 are used for the walls 21 and 23 for the slabs I intend to make uh, doors Therefore, I've reserved 30, 31, and 32 for doors, and 40 and 50 are for hotspots. Now, uh, I will explain each of these, uh, what uh, the purpose of it is. First, how is uh, the subroutine written? Uh, basically, you have uh, a code, which is uh, first the name, and uh, um, column, and then... Uh, in uh, exclamation mark, I've written some uh, uh, exp explanation for the subroutine. In this case, cut poly for door. It means uh, cutting uh, in the walls, 
space for the door. And uh, in here I've written the code that uh, is the actual executive part of the subroutine. Wh whenever you um, enter a uh, subroutine, you will always have to use return when exiting the subroutine. Otherwise, the program will go down until it finds a return. And if it doesn't find a return until the end of your code, uh, something very bad can happen. Um, in the least case, your computer will uh, block and you have to terminate the whole ArchiCAD program. And uh, since uh, there is no autosave in uh, GDL programming, I um, say you must, and you must with bold, big bold letters, save often by clicking Ctrl plus S whenever you have uh, finished uh, some important operation. Um, secondly, uh, so the first was uh, return and the number of subroutine. Uh, second, always uh, use uh, the main commands with uh, enter them with uh, letters that are easily identifiable. In this case, I've written them with uh, big letters. All of my commands are with big letters. And uh, I, I can easily um, go through my program and uh, check it for errors if necessary. Uh, third, uh, use tabs whenever you um, build uh, different uh, logical operations. In this case, if uh, shape is at an angle, then it means when F shape is an parameter is at value at an angle, then and it will do these things, these things, and uh, and if and this conditional. Uh, since uh, these uh, two operations are uh, subject to the uh, condition being true, I've uh, inserted them with a tab and I can easily see uh, the logical operations in my program. And uh, keep your code uh, nice and tidy. Uh, don't use uh, many uh, unnecessary, unnecessary um, comments, but uh, use enough comments in the 3D script. Uh, that also applies to the 2D script. Also use uh, go sub if you have a subroutine. In this case I will type go sub. Uh, first let's check if the script is true without it. You can see a type of an error. An uninitialized variable which means here this variable is not defined. Therefore I will have to define a variable named p C O L and uh, I will just replace it with an existing one like that. I think that the variable was that and T and uh, let's check. Okay, that's that was the problem. And now I will show you how to add subroutines. Go sub one means go to subroutine one. I will end. And I suggest whenever ending the script to uh, type a comment uh, with a line below it or adjacent to it and you will see when, where, where the script ends. And uh, beneath that write one which is the subroutine name of it testing subroutine and return. And it will of course write that it's okay. And here I can write uh, anything. First, let's, let's remove all of the codes. And 2D view. This is the 2D representation of the object. It's nothing because I removed everything. I uh, placed comment. And let's place this in the first subroutine. And how will the program work? First, it will assign a certain pen, then go down, read this line, which will direct it to go to subroutine 1 here, and then draw a rectangle with the size of A and B. And let's see. Here it is, our rectangle 
a in length and b in width. And uh, that's basically how you write 3D and 2D scripts. Just uh, remember to save often and keep your code tidy because uh, you will have to later when you don't remember the program to go through <laughs> a very very mindful process. And uh, let's go to the master script and the parameter script. They are basically the same but uh, uh, they cannot use subroutines or I don't encourage you to use subroutines there. Just type your variables and the constraints about them. For instance, if I want to lock that same variable pen t, I will just type lock pen t. And now I will not be able to assi assign any new values to it. You can see pen t is uh, um, gray and I cannot enter it. And of course, you if you remember correctly, if I, you can go here and it will insert an explanation mark or just type it manually and the result is the same it will not read this code and therefore the parameter will be unlocked so thanks for watching it was Nicole Wale from ArcPro and I am signing off in this video we discussed some basic principles about your scripts and uh, some useful tips of how to save time and improve your work with GDL. Be healthy and until next time.